Hey there! Today, we're going to talk about fractions. Let's start by helping out Chelsea and her friends. Chelsea and three of her friends want to share a pie. If there's only one pie, how are they going to share it? Oh, that's right. We can slice the pie in four parts. Can you help by making sure we have four equal slices for them? Let's try cutting it like this. Would this work? Hmm, there are four slices, but it looks like this one is smaller than the others. That wouldn't be fair. What if we cut it like this? Do we have equal slices now? Well, we do have equal parts, but we only have three slices. I think we should try again. Let's cut it this way. Hmm. Is this better? Awesome! Now Chelsea and her three friends can have equal slices of pie. You just helped Chelsea and her friends with fractions. A fraction is when a whole is cut into equal parts. In Chelsea's case, the pie is cut into four equal slices. That means each one of them gets one out of four parts, or in other words, one-fourth. In writing fractions, the numerator is on the top, which is the number of parts being referred to. The denominator is at the bottom, which is the total number of parts the whole is broken into. The two numbers are separated by a short horizontal line. For example, three out of five parts of this rectangle are shaded. So we can write the shaded part as three-fifths. Isn't that easy? To review what we've learned so far, choose which fraction describes the shaded part in each figure. The circle has one shaded part out of two, so the correct fraction is one half. This triangle has two shaded parts out of three, so the fraction is two thirds. For this rectangle, Three out of four parts are shaded, so we have three-fourths. Lastly, this square has a total of eight parts and five of them are shaded. This means the fraction is five-eighths. Let's keep practicing modeling and representing fractions. Push pause while you complete each task. You can do this on your own. Brainstorm, think of all the things that you could divide into equal parts or fractions and make a list. I can think of one to get you started. Pizza. You can do this with a partner or on your own. Using a circular object to trace, practice making your own fractions with a partner. You can practice dividing a circle into two, three, four, and six equal parts. Let's try a challenge. Here's a fun idea. Write your name out on a piece of paper. Count up all the letters of your name. This will be your denominator. Then, make fractions for each letter of your name. For example, if your name is Samantha, your denominator will be eight, and the fraction of A's in your name will be three-eighths. Fun! Good job working with fractions. Until next time, see you later. Did you enjoy this video? Bottle has more awesome learning content delivered through amazing 3D games. Sign up today.